Hey, Ethan's. All right, so in my last video, I talked about foster care and how a woman on a TV show had a problem with homosexuals adopting um, children. Uh, you know, talked about some of the, the statistics and, you know, kids that are in foster care. And let's face it, you know, infants get adopted fairly quickly. As a matter of fact, there's a waiting list. You're typically going to be waiting about a year to get a, uh, an infant to adopt. But those that end up in the system because of something else, you know, uh, orphans or, uh, you know, the parents didn't give them up for adoption and just didn't take care of them until finally the uh, Department of Family and Children's Services come to take them away. Uh, those guys, not so much. So it's typically a little harder to find them homes. Um, I discussed how absolutely insane it is to turn away people who are willing to help these children. And you know, and, I, and most, almost everyone, you know, agrees, even several of the Christian people, a few that I didn't expect to come out and say, yeah, this is stupid, did so. And so, and I, I can certainly appreciate that. I'm glad that we could at least come to an agreement on that. But in the process of this whole thing, I got to looking a little deeper into the subject. And I look into my local Yellow Pages, and I advise you to do this as well. And go to your adoption section in your Yellow Pages. I noticed that all but one of the places listed under adoption services were all now keep keep in mind I don't I don't have a problem with Christian organizations doing charity work I think that's fantastic I think you know you know, I don't see what the you know why they have to go together but whatever this is you know I'm, I'm glad they're doing it but all but one was a Christian group offering these adoption services. And while before you guys go, ah, see, there's something good about religion. No, actually, it's not. Because right there on their websites, blatant, plain as day, you know, go read it for yourself uh, kind of thing, these people openly tell you that if you are not a Christian, if both, in one particular example, if both the mother and the father don't attend the same Christian church, you're not going to get considered. Now think about this. Is that really charity? Is that really doing anything good? Uh, you know, is that really what you want to put out there for your organization? That you don't want anyone who is not of your religion to take these children? Now I have a lot of experience with this, and so this, this quite angered me. Uh, as a matter of fact, my wife and I had longed to look into looked into taking care of um, you know a child in some form or fashion. Uh, there's the, actually the person that she works for used to be on the board with a local group that had uh, a home you know as a group home uh, for for kids, and they have this thing. It's kind of like kind of like Big Brothers Big Sisters, that sort of uh, idea where you every other weekend kind of thing you help mentor this child and we want to just take well, well we want to take a part but they were a Christian organization and because we couldn't put down what church we attended we couldn't participate they had kids still sitting there on their little ranch and you know who would like to have someone take them home for the weekend and they don't because they're too intolerant of our beliefs to allow us to help this child now, as you can imagine, being that she worked for this guy and he was on the board, this quite a quite a conflict for a long period of time. He eventually resigned from the board because it, he finally broke down, going, "You know what? This is stupid. Why can't I send this child home with this woman who I know is a good parent?" Well, unfortunately, that's not the exception. That is the norm. Company after company, I find that these guys will not let someone who is not a Christian home. Forget about atheists. You know, if you're just not Christian, you can't take these children home. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to call these people and see. Could they be swayed? Would they actually give someone else a chance? Well, here's the results. So I call up this one company. Actually, I called several 
one uh, did respond uh, to my request for someone to call me back and uh, and I asked the lady because they had two sections one was for adoption and one was for foster care and I said um, I noticed that you had a lot of religious requirements for adoption but I'm curious uh, on your foster care side there was no mention of it can someone who is not a Christian uh, help help you guys out and foster a child and uh, help these children uh, if they're not part of your religious belief and the lady says well what religion are you I said I don't have one now fast forwarding just a little bit this is this is how I knew the, the mentality of the person that I was speaking to she actually asked me well are you a Christian Hey, stupid, I just told you I don't have a religion. Oh, how the hell would I be Christian if I... Anyway, I paused, collected myself before I responded and said, No, I'm not. Why does it matter? And she says, Oh, well, we, we would like for these, you know, we want to send these children to home so that they can teach them about Jesus. Oh, I can teach them about Jesus. That's not what you mean. What you mean is you want to be able to make sure that you send these children to houses where they can be indoctrinated with Christianity. That's what you mean. Didn't say that to her. I tried to be as nice and polite as I could. I wanted to really push this idea. Is this really the position you want to take as a company? And so I asked her, I said, so what, are your what you're telling me is that if you have a child in foster care, and let's say the child's not Christian, you wouldn't put them in another home that has their own beliefs? Let's say you brought in a, a Jewish child, um, you know, as, as an orphan or whatever, and, you know, they, they would like to, to go into a family, and there's a Jewish family who would like to, you know, bring them in. You would tell them no, all because you want them to learn about Jesus? What if the child doesn't want to learn about Jesus? What if it's a little bit older child who can think for themselves and decides that they don't believe your religion either? You're going to put them in a religious household? Recipe for disaster. I mean, think about this. And the lady tried to to argue with me for just just for a little bit, and then you could tell that she, you know, I don't know if she just uh, was told not to get into the, the argument with someone over the phone, or or she just didn't feel comfortable in, in doing it, whatever. But she backed away very quickly, especially after I told her. I said, Let me tell you something, lady. I have two children of my own. I volunteer in local groups all around this town. I am I am a part of the local recreational soccer community and I and I coach a team there I enjoy being around kids I'm good with kids I can help children and I would like to help one of these children that you have I just don't happen to believe in the same version of God that you do are you telling me that you're going to deny a child the chance to go into a loving home because I disagree with you on religion and she said oh well I guess you'll need to speak with our uh, director well, directors never called me back. That doesn't surprise me. I'm, I'm hoping that she does, though, because I'd really like to get an answer for this. So anyway, there you have it. Another example of how charity goes wrong as soon as you add religion. Don't take my word for it. Think for yourself.